breaking news. Police shoot and kill a wanted man on the bridge between Maine and New Hampshire, then discover the body of an eight-year-old in the car. I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. The man had been wanted in connection with a woman's death. There are two scenes that we know of, one in Troy, New Hampshire, and the other on the Piscataqua River Bridge that connects Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and Kittery, Maine. WBZ's Penny Commit has the breaking details. The Piscataqua River Bridge was closed for hours this morning. A major artery connecting New Hampshire and Maine cut off for hours after an officer involved shooting with a wanted man. Sky Eye video showing a normally bustling bridge sitting totally empty after police shot and killed a man believed to be a murder suspect early Thursday morning. He's currently sitting on the handrail. Unknown where the handgun is at this point. Police say it started at a house in Troy, where the New Hampshire Attorney General believes the man killed a woman. Officers were seen inside of the residence all morning. That there's an eight-year-old juvenile that's not accounted for here. Police later found the man on the Piscataqua River Bridge. Initial reports indicate there was some type of altercation before officers shot and killed the suspect. Then, when they approached his vehicle, officers found the body of an eight-year-old child. How this all happened and who this man is, it's all still under investigation. Traffic on the bridge has now reopened and later today at two this afternoon, there's going to be a joint press conference with law enforcement from both states. Hopefully we'll learn some more information then. Imports of the New Hampshire, I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News.